Hey guys, it's Bang for Buck PC Gamer here. Future Mark, the creators of the 3D Mark um, benchmarking software, have recently added a basically a feature test which allows us to test DirectX 12. Now, what it is going to allow us to do is basically run an API overhead feature test, which will um, just load up a load of draw calls on screen and do as many draw calls as possible before the frames per second drops below 30 frames per second and then the test will stop. And what this is going to show us is the, the efficiency between DirectX 11 and DirectX 12 and also Mantle as well. So we'll be able to see the, the performance difference between all three of those APIs. Now what a draw call basically is, is basically the amount of objects drawn to the screen at one time. So imagine DirectX 11 only allowing you to draw, let's say, 500,000 items on the screen at one time. Well, DirectX 12, being heavily a lot more efficient, will, will allow up to four to five or even six times more. So this should, in theory, allow us to have greater detailed um, objects and even allow us to have a lot more objects rendered on the screen at one time. So. For me, I can imagine this being very, very um, useful for something like a game like Total War Shogun or any kind of Total War um, strategy game. Um, the, the amount of units that you can have on screen at one time will definitely increase at least by double. So I'm definitely looking forward to what um, the developers, developers can do with DirectX 12. Now, there are, there are a few things you're going to need before you can actually run this test yourself. The first thing being is the Windows 10 Pro Technical Preview. Um, you will need build 10041. This is free. Um, it's a free download available on the Microsoft website and anyone can get hold of it. It's still free now so if you want to download one and burn it to a disk or just mount it on a bootable USB drive then um, that's fine. Um, another thing you will need is an advanced version of 3D Mark's um, benchmarking software. You'll also need version 1.5.884 or above, and that's the one which will include the API overhead feature test. There are a few things I want to note, as I did run into difficulty when I was trying to test DirectX 12. If you're an NVIDIA user like myself, I'm currently using an NVIDIA GTX 980, you will need to disable Shadow Play or the DirectX 12 test won't run. Also, if you have a multiple GPU configuration and you're using SLI, you will also need to disable that as well. FutureMark also have a few recommendations of this. Um, they recommend you have four gigabytes of system memory. Um, obviously, your graphics cards will need to support a minimum of DirectX 11, and also have a minimum of one gigabyte worth of v VRAM on board. So, you've got to have at least one gigabyte graphics card which supports DirectX 11. Um, I think that covers it really for our requirements. There is one more thing I need to note. This is kind of specifically to NVIDIA users as well. I'm not too sure about AMD. Um, you can't use the the current drivers, the current latest drivers from the NVIDIA official website. Um, those don't come DirectX 12 ready. The only way to use the DirectX 12 ready drivers is to use the drivers that come pre-installed with Windows 10 and it comes with an update. So what you need to do is obviously set up your Windows 10 and like normal you would you would actually just um, obviously install your drivers once you've done that but what you're going to need to do this time around is um, click start go to settings and you go to update and recovery and you'll need to run an update and it will download the latest drivers tailor made for Windows 10 to support DirectX 12 and these drivers will be version 349.90 now if you check on the NVIDIA website you will not be able to download these direct from the website the only way to get them is through 
but update that comes with Windows um, 10 so just bear that in mind if you're an NVIDIA user okay that's about it for the requirements I'm gonna run this test at um, the default 720p which it comes where is that that's here I wanna run it at 1080p as well 2k at 1440p and I'll also do a 4k test as well just to see what the difference is between DirectX 11 and uh, DirectX 12 and the, the amount of draw calls that can be uh, rendered at one time so anyway that's enough for me guys um, I'll present you with the results and I'll talk about them after Okay, so when looking at the results now, as you can see with the single threaded um, DirectX 11 mode, I was only able to score about 1.4 million draw calls. When multi threaded DirectX 11 was used, it was able to boost up to 2.3 million draw calls per second. But as you can see, DirectX 12, a huge difference with uh, 16 million draw calls per second so that's basically over six times faster than um, DirectX um, 11 so it's, uh, it's a good it's a good sign of um, the difference between the two APIs this will definitely give um, developers a bit more headroom and certainly get a lot more out of our graphics cards than we are getting now so um, who knows? We may not to. We may not need to upgrade um, as much as we used to um, when this gets fully implemented in Windows 10 and obviously upcoming games, as it may just uh, just give you a decent performance boost. Obviously, it's it's going to be interesting to see how this actually translates into a performance boost, but it's like over six times more efficient so I've got I've got high hopes for it I think it will definitely show a notable, um, noticeable improvement so now well, hopefully things go well and and a lot of direct um, a lot of developers adopt it so we can start getting some direct X12 games out anyway that's it guys for um, this direct X12 comparison there's not really much to see here really I mean it's pretty much a simple test and uh, you guys can try it out for yourselves. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.